welcome. Um, I'm here this afternoon on uh, Monday the 6th of May uh, in Oku. Uh, I've been really looking forward to coming here. Um, I'm interviewing Vicentia Amanqua. Um, so welcome Vincentia. Thank you Maureen. <laughs> um, I suppose we'd like to start this, I'd, I'd like to say by the way that this is a completely unprepared <laughs> interview yeah. so yeah. we're kind of making it up a little bit as we go along. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, so Vincentia thank you very much for agreeing to do this interview so would you like to tell me a little bit about yourself, where you were born, your family, where you went to school? Okay yeah I'm Vincentia Manqua as you said as a star of St. Louis. I am um, from a family of six siblings. I'm the second born from my parents. And I say I began, I began my journey in Kumasi. I come from Kote, that's my hometown. But I stayed at Amekum, where I was born mm -hmm. with my parents. And as a second born, the one after me is a bit distant, eight years Cheers. difference. So in fact, I would say I enjoyed whilst I was young. <laughs> So growing up, I went to school. At, I began with St. Mary's International School. That was where I began. But later, I moved to New Amicum, the school, to complete the GSS. Mm -hmm. And from there, I went to senior high school at Jesus Secondary Technical School, mm -hmm. where I studied agriculture. Ah. So from there, I moved to Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology to continue to study agriculture. Okay. So. I did BSc Agric, where I completed okay. and had my national service with a crop research okay. institute. Wow. So at this point you, you, you did your degree before you became a sister? Student. Yes, yes, okay. actually. So how did you become a sister? Student? Like where was this interaction? So you didn't go to any sister St. Louis school? No. Up. So I'm, I'm very curious now to know as to <laughs> No, how I didn't. To be. Yeah, I didn't. Um, when I was in a senior high school, I was working with a, a CASU. In school, we have the Catholic Students' Union mm -hmm. and the Josephite Priests, mm -hmm. Congregation of St. Joseph, mm -hmm. they are Tejiso. They were in charge of our schools and were working, they work with youth. Mm -hmm. So I was working with them as an animator to work with the young ones at Ejiso. Mm -hmm. So although as a child, I used to tell my parents I want to be a sister, mm -hmm. but it wasn't something that was coming up. Okay. How did your but parents feel about this? At that time, maybe they would think I'm, but they would didn't say anything. Okay. But after secondary school, whilst I was working with them, when I completed SS at Ejiso, mm -hmm. I told one of the priests that I want to be a sister. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was when he asked me, uh, where do you want to go? I said, oh, uh, they sing we sisters. So do you know them? I said no. <laughs> I don't know them, but I've heard of them. Okay. I stood close at uh, Saint Louis Senior High School. Okay. But I've heard of them. Okay. So that was when he said, "Oh, then I go there. I will take you there." Okay. <laughs> so from there, he took me to visit the sisters in Odium, okay. the Senior High School. Okay. Yeah. That and was do you remember uh, the first sister you met? Yes, yes, I remember. I unfortunately I didn't meet any of the sisters. Okay. When I, we went for visit, yeah, I met um, two novices then. Okay. Sister Patricia and Sister Beatrice. Ah, they were good. in the house. Yeah. So when I went there, I met them, and then I went to my family to visit them. Yeah. Uh, so. Very that was how come I came in contact with the good. sisters of Saint Louis. Did you think about any other? Um, order or was it just you wanted to sister St. Louis and then you met them and it all just happened? Yes, out? yes. I didn't, although I knew other congregation but I didn't okay. you know, when I okay. said I would join the Sisters of okay. St. Louis. So, so that from was when you met the two novices um, to actually entering, was there a long period of time there? Yes, it was. Yeah. I met them immediately after sen uh, secondary school. Okay. But when I told my parents, my father insisted I go to this uh, university before, okay. tertiary. That's wise advice. So. I went to the tertiary yeah. to complete my degree okay. and after national service one year. Yeah. So from that time the period was uh, about five, six years, yeah, okay. six years before I joined okay. the congregation. Okay. Okay. So when did you enter and when did you make your final profession? Yeah, I entered as I, on the 8th of September 2013, mm -hmm. 2013, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, no, sorry. 2011. Okay. 2013 was novitiates. Okay, okay. 
uh, first lunch was uh, I was received on the 8th of September 2011 mm -hmm. yeah but I left my home on August I think 15th August a lady of assumption yes to the oh is it on the 8th of September I went to yeah I left the house on 8th of September Today, 2011, yeah. and I was received on the 4th of October 2011 okay. as a postulant. Okay, wow. so at the time we did one and a half years. Okay. So I entered novitiate on the 19th of um, March 2013. Okay, okay, and then when did you make your final profession? Last year, 2023, 11th February. <laughs> And so, during your um, novitiate time and your postulancy, were you doing any jobs, or were you completely concentrated on becoming a Sister Saint Louis? Were you, did you get to practice the agriculture that you had learnt, or were you posted anywhere during your time? Yeah, I am after first profession, mm -hmm. I was posted to Oku okay. to look after the farm, okay. and then help also at the clinic okay. in administration. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so when I came here, I was doing the farm work. Okay. and helping at the clinic at the same time. Okay. How long ago was that now, roughly? In 2015. 2015, okay. Yes. So you're here... Almost nine, nine years, years now. Years. Wow. wow. Yeah. This, uh, I professed, first profession was on the 16th of May. Okay. 2015. So you're very near your anniversary. Yes. yes. Oh, I'm sorry I'm here to celebrate it with you. <laughs> yeah. So, so. Um, what, how, what was that journey like from, say, first profession to final profession? Was it what you expected? Or yeah. Or hard to know, really, isn't it? What to expect? Oh, oh it, was, it was the same, mm -hmm. what I expected. Yeah. And there, I was still li living as a sister, yeah. working in the apostolate as sisters. Yeah. Only that I was still in formation, mm -hmm. learning more to really know the sisters and discern more yes. to really discern and say this is finally where i will be yes. so in from 2015 to 2023 mm -hmm. i was uh, still working at the clinic and it was when i was i, I was still in the administration at the clinic yeah. So the need came and I, I love the work also at the clinic. Mm -hmm. So it was suggested and I went into administration, health administration, okay. to go and study masters in health administration. Oh, wow. So yeah. when did you do that masters? Um, I completed 2020. Oh, wow. You've been very busy in the last <laughs> years. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, so you've led me on to my next couple of questions really, yeah. because you have two roles here in Oakland. Yes, yes. One is to look after the farm and which I had the pleasure of going to this afternoon yeah um and i was very impressed mm -hmm. about the size of it and the expanse of it and what you're doing and what mm -hmm. your plans are and then um you're also the administrator of oku clinic which yes. i have yet to see so i yeah. hope to get to see that mm -hmm. tomorrow um so I, i'd love to hear a little bit more about both of what you do and what's your involvement and I, i'm fascinated obviously about say the farm its size yeah. what you're growing there and also the health clinic you know how many people y you know you you look after every year yeah. and that type of thing as well mm -hmm. so can yeah. you tell me a little bit about both that'd be great maybe start with the farm yes so in the farm for some time now because i left to school mm -hmm. uh, we're not into any of the seasonal crops mm -hmm. what we had on it was mangoes and some palm fruits mm -hmm. which we have a disturbance a bit from uh, the bushfires mm -hmm. yeah. so coming back in 2021 from school mm -hmm. where we try to see what we can do so we, we got some people there to help because it's a bit far from here yeah. so some people who will be able ready to stay there mm -hmm. and then help um, in planting and in taking care of the crops okay. So yes. you'll have somebody there actually on site. Yes, on it's site. It's a very distant site, so I don't Yes, it's a yeah, distant site. Nearly a 20 to 30 minute drive? Yes, yeah, yeah. 20, 20 minutes <laughs> on a poor road. <laughs> if yeah. not, maybe it would have been 10 or 5 minutes, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. because of the nature of the road. Yeah. yeah. So what are you growing there at the moment? And so at the moment, the yeah, at the moment we have beans. Yeah. Um, we wanted to plant a bit of maize also mm -hmm. in addition, mm -hmm. but... Um, we held on to that so at the moment we have beans yeah. we are waiting for the second season to plant maize okay. in the future we have a lot of things that we hope to do yeah. um beehives yes. to be able to harvest honey 
because yes. in this area yeah. the bees are almost all over wow so if we are able to harvest then we get some income yeah. also from there yeah. we also hope to have animal farm okay. there Which so animals? rearing of goats and maybe cattle okay yes yeah. we hope to go into that yeah. And help. And I saw some mango trees there. Today. Mango trees are and there. Was there some was it coconuts? Coconuts, sorry. And then coconuts, yeah. coconuts yeah. and then oil palm fruit yeah. also wow. on it. We hope to expand to those one. Yeah. And he also going to cashew planting. Oh wow! Because it's a big land. It is. What size is it? 166 acres. It's huge. It's very <laughs> huge. We haven't been able to develop all of them. Yeah. Some parts are still virgin. Yeah. that we haven't yeah. planted well, that's anything. Not a bad thing. That's good. Yes, it's not a bad thing. You know, so it's resting. So you need to touch it. So yes. You know, it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so. um, when we were there, um, there were some Fulani herdsmen passed through. So that's a, that's a bit of a problem. Yes, yeah. it's, it's also a problem that we, but now because we haven't planted anything, they will tell you it's just grass they are coming to. Yeah. So you can't do much about okay. it. Will you just explain a little bit about for people who aren't from this part of the world, who the Fulani are? Yeah, the Fulani has men are the men who take care of the cattle. They take them to um, to feed mm -hmm. and take care of them, milk them yeah. to get milk and other things. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's actually for them. They yeah. take care of some. They have some, yeah. but others, um, some of us also yeah. have these hours and then we add it to this yeah. to take care of yeah. it for okay. the hair. So okay. that so is the their work. Sometimes they come in and they, they basically help themselves to your crops. Yes, that, that is the unfortunate aspect of it. Yeah, yeah. 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 okay, that's mm. a bit of a problem, all right. Um, yeah, so I mean, I was very, I was intrigued by the, the yeah. The, and you also have a little built a dam actually. Yes. To sort of supply yeah. water to, mm. to irrigate the crops. Before the irrigation. Yeah, yeah. And then spraying of the, uh, if you want to spray some insecticides, yeah. then that's the same source oh, of water oh, okay, okay. you rely um, on. Yeah, so there's lots going on there, and it yeah. sounds like you've lots of uh, exciting plans for the future. Yes, That's for right. the now future. Now that you've finished your studies for the moment, anyway, yeah. at least. <laughs> <laughs> um, great. So uh, maybe you could. Uh, we'll, we'll move on to the uh, Uncle Clinic. So yes. Just tell me what it is you do in the yeah, clinic. at a clinic as a health administrator. It means that uh, the daily activities I have to make sure that it runs sm smoothly. Mm -hmm. That is my main work. Okay. So. Um, I make sure that at the end of the day, what have we been able to do? The logistics they are using to work, okay. the estates, the buildings, how are they? Yeah. The equipment, are they doing well? So although they are different departments, okay. I make sure that their work is going on okay. smoothly. Okay. So daily I wake up and I go to the clinic to look at the books. Uh, he, unfortunately, here we don't have an accountant. Okay. So, I do the accounting work. I do the HR work oh as a human resource manager. So, all the administrative aspects, wow. the procurement, the estates, although I involve some of the sisters and then the nurses. Yeah. So, but I have to make sure that they do their work. Yes. So, um, we have a team, a procurement team that makes sure these drugs are there these drugs are not there okay. then I'll, we, we see how they get them um accounts for us for accounts i do that on my own but uh, we have somebody who collects the money for us the revenue collector okay so at the end of his work then we have to put them together okay. so that one to some of the sisters help with the income aspect they put them together okay. then i also work at the area okay. but at the end of the day all the reports when the departments are doing it yeah. i make sure the reports are put together at the end of the month yeah. what have we been able to do yeah. at the end of the month wow. um the opd what was the attendance what was there any tr trouble that you were not able to achieve uh -huh. the objectives and all that yeah. so all together and the administration wow so there, that is what like i do hours in the day to do everything you're doing <laughs> yeah I mean, do, like when do you actually get a chance even to go to oku farm if you're um two big jobs yes two big job yeah. in fact i always say that the farm needs a uh, full-time work and this one also full-time yeah. okay. so for the meantime that we haven't gone into 
so I, I have somebody who is also helping me here yeah. Yeah. one of the town folks yeah. who he's I, like he one in charge yeah. so a liaison person okay. so sister this um, today we are going to do spring I'll get the people for you okay. so he takes them okay. there to okay. do the work okay. so my work is just go there supervise yes what's if they have been able to do it yes. so he goes to supervise all those then when i also get time i yes. go there yes. to check the work they came to yes. do okay. and i come back okay. so mostly within the week if there is no any major work mm -hmm. as friday is mostly that i okay. decide to go there okay. to check on the farm okay. whatever that is going on but now we have somebody who i rely on when they are going to plant when they are going to plow yeah. when I don't need to follow okay. to go yeah, and you see. To, you're not micromanaging. Yes. Okay. That's, so that that's is, good to hear. That is, <laughs> <laughs> well, that is what I do. When do you find time to pray and be a sister of St. Louis? Yeah, we do. Yeah. We be, I begin the day with prayer. What time I do think you get that, that is what's even my, my source of strength yeah. that I've been able to, because um, by 4.30 I'm awake. Okay. I do my own personal prayers. Okay. Latest, the day I wake up late is 5. Okay. Yeah, we pray at 5.30 as a community. Okay. So, doing my personal prayers and preparing for prayers and Mass. Yes. So, after prayer at 5.30, we go for Mass okay. at 6. Wow. Then, coming back from Mass, I come and continue with my preparation, breakfast, yeah. and then other things to yeah. prepare and go to work. Wow. By 7.30 or 8, I'm at work. That's <laughs> yeah, That's that is what I do. Um, by four, okay. I close from work. Okay. The day I'll be late, actually I'm supposed to close at five, okay. with one hour break. Okay. Yeah, so if um, I have other things to do in, yeah. it can, I can come home late like five. Yes. If not, by four, I'm okay. home. Okay. Because we also pray at 5.30 in the evening. Yeah. If there is no, ma if there is mass in the evening, the days, there are some days that we go for evening programs. Okay. Yeah. At the same time in the church, the apostolate uh, in charge of the uh, lectures. Okay. So on you Tuesdays, are. yeah, help. I help them <laughs> in the good. church. You're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so I help them in the church yeah. to read. Yeah. 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 So by wow. Tuesdays and Sundays yeah. in the evenings. Wow. So after prayers with community for those days, actually on Tuesdays and Sundays, we go for community visitation. Okay. We visit the, the homes, okay. but before that, we go for our meetings by five. Okay. Then we do all that wow. as well. That's mm. very interesting. And yeah. It's, it's, it sounds like you don't have a minute to spare for yourself. Ah. <laughs> it sounds to me like your prayer time is your time yeah. for you. Yeah. 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 Mm. Which is, is, is very I do. Um, I suppose just to kind of circle back a little bit, just in terms of Oku and the farm and the clinic, what, what would be your kind of your hopes for the future for either of them? Just on a very kind of high level brief. Yeah, my hope is that at the clinic, um, we are the level of health centre. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope that in the future, if it wasn't the road, mm -hmm. we would have been in a hospital by now, having a doctor stay in. Yeah. If we were less remote. Yes. Yeah, okay. So that it will reduce the times we ask people to go to town for mm. or we refer cases, higher cases. Mm. But if we have a doctor here, so yeah. if we have a theater yeah. and other things at the clinic. Okay. And here we have surrounding communities. Mm -hmm. We serve, uh, we have other 24 communities mm -hmm. who are also in the village. The closest is about three kilometers. Okay. If not, uh, it's not even nine kilometers where you came from. Mm -hmm. There are people who come from there to seek health care. Oh, wow. There are others also very far. Yeah. Do you still do outreach? Kind of yes. Into yes. And do, are you involved in that yourself personally? Not always. Okay. But I, I get involved sometimes. Yeah. Like this year is a hope that we have community debates in all the communities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when there is a deba, then I mean, it means I have to go with them. Okay. If not, the um, lady, the community health nurse, yeah. and they, they are rather in charge of going to the communities. Okay. And some of the nurses go for clinical outreaches. Okay. And how often does that, that happen? Would that happen every week? or? Yeah, um, for the uh, child welfare clinic, mm -hmm. they visit all the communities. Mm -hmm. We have 
about 15 outreach areas 15, 15 wow. uh, including oku here okay. so 14 other places that okay. they have to visit okay some places we put them together okay sometimes in a month to make it 11. Okay. so the least outreach we will go in a month for child welfare clinic yeah. is 10. okay yeah and the okay. clinical outreach is sometimes six in a month or eight yeah. in a month four in a month yeah. to go to the clinical outreaches okay. so my hope is that making the hair big having a doctor here all the surrounding communities the cases that are higher than us they can, come can they can just come here not refer them to a job and even have some small small clinics yes. at their place okay, okay. so that the basic ones yeah. they can get it there before they refer because sometimes they wait when the case is, uh, becomes an emergency yeah. that is when they come yes. but if we are there then it doesn't become yes. an emergency yeah, 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 yeah. 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 so for the clinic so that the is my hope yeah, yeah. Yeah. And for Oku Farm, <laughs> and then for the farm, yeah. my my hope is that in the in the future we have a building staying there mm -hmm. as a community, okay, so that we can manage it well, okay, okay. because when you are far, you, the monitoring and other things becomes yeah. a bit difficult. Yeah. Yeah. So my hope is that it becomes a bigger farm, yeah. with all even with thinking of a oil pl palm plantation, yeah. then we can go into even processing. Okay. Because oil palm can have so many, we can have um, palm nuts, mm -hmm. we can have the oil from the palm nuts, yeah. we can have oil from the palm kennel okay. also. Yeah, it's very versatile. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can have um, brooms from the uh, branches. Yeah. So wow. you can use a lot of You can the use uh, yeah, from yeah. the, so wow. for my hope is that yeah. we are there. Yeah. So that we come fire manage. as well there last yeah, year. So it's far. I mean, that probably could have been um I suppose stamped out or taken out early yeah. had mm. somebody been there to see yeah. it. So yeah. Mm. It certainly makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Um I just have one final question. I've been talking for quite a while. Yeah. But <laughs> just really I know you're very young yourself in Yeah. But do you have any advice for any anybody that might be thinking of becoming a sister? Or yeah. Or yes. you know, just your own experience. Yes. From my experience I always say that in this uh, with us as sisters of St. Louis mm -hmm. when people come they wonder that we're able to live together like that mm -hmm. some people wonder how are you able to it's like when an, anybody coming in fits in so well I said yeah that is us for sisters of St. Louis we are one yes. so when you come in the oneness pulls you yes. and the joy pulls you yeah. because when you come you may not even know the one who is the leader Yes. And the one who is a subordinate. All of us are one. So they, they certainly live Sintunum. Sintunum, Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. Okay, well, yes. I think that's a lovely way to end, end it. So yeah. Thank you so it's much. <laughs> it's very unplanned. I think, I think we both did a great job. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. very much. Okay. okay.